All right, if you've missed any of the previous episodes, the playlist is in the description. But if not, I replaced Dana White and I'm now the sole matchmaker of the UFC. And last week's fight night card was very interesting. Walt Harris basically retired Andre Arlovsky. Manel Cap edged a decision win over Mateus Nicolau in their rematch. And another rematch happened, that was Magomed and Goliath's Johnny Walker. However, they went to a draw, which is just the most light heavyweight division thing possible and just what the division needed. But now we are at UFC 297 Strickland vs Duplessis, along with Juliana Pena vs Raquel Pennington co-main eventing. Arnold Allen vs Josh Emmett, and Josh Emmett is taking this on short notice, and I'm very excited for this fight. And lastly, opening the card is the rematch between Neil Magny and Li Jing Liang. And make sure to watch until the end to see the next fight revealed on UFC 300. And before we head into UFC 297, here's next week's card. UFC Fight Night Gone vs Almeida in Paris, France. And the co-main event is Benoit St. Denis vs Jalen Turner, Hinata Moicano vs Drew Dober, and there's also the middleweight debut of Dominic Reyes and it will be against Roman Dolitze. And opening the card is the return of Alexander Gustafsson against OSP. Alright, enjoy the fights, fight fans. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Lee the Leech King Leon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Haitian sensation, Neil! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, round underway. The leech, Li Jing Liang. His smile lights up the room. Good kick to the body. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 29-27, 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Haitian sensation! Neil Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Josh Cece. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Arnold Almighty Allen. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, early round action here featuring the longtime Team Alpha male product and former Menlo College wrestler Josh Allen. to go with the round. Oh! oh! 30 seconds to Under two minutes. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh. That'll do it. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Arnold Almighty Allen. Our 
tale of the date for this women's bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. <laughs> Bantamweight Championship of the World. Herbert Dean's in the building. Great he fight. is the third man in the octagon Great. tonight. Let's do it. Well, when Rocky Pennington came off the Ultimate Fighter, not a lot of people. officially on fire right now after what she just did. There are a few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a win by submission, and she got it done with style points here tonight. She got it done with style points, John. This young lady is a submission wizard, and it was on full display tonight as she gets another submission victory. Back inside the arena, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 41 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Juliana, the Venezuelan. To see our fights here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Dracos Stilnoff. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, Sean Dracos. One of the best in the business, Great Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. Well, no surprise, the Scotiabank Arena packed to the nines. These Canadians just have an insatiable appetite for him. He's hurt. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent. Oh! It's a right hand. Duplessis. Go. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round. Oh! oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. That's not a pretty sage decision by him to target that area. You always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. Herb Dean steps in! Oh my God! So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, 
and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Sean Strickland! All right, so off the record, you'd like the champion to get it done tonight, and that is how it played out, and still UFC middleweight champion. All right, it's time for the next fight to be revealed on UFC 300. And joining the prelims with Nick Diaz versus Tim Means will be... Jim Miller versus Paul Felder. The fans have been begging for this veteran fight, and I've delivered it. And I can't wait to keep revealing these fights, and especially the main card. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure to like, subscribe for more of the UFC Universe.